We're always looking for ways to do new, fresh things, especially around holiday-themed skins. One of the approaches that we decided to take was Lunar Revel. We've tried a bunch of different things in the past, and so we wanted to try something wildly new and bring something fresh to the table. So Mecha Kingdoms is a new idea for us that we're exploring. It's a different way of looking at our League of Legends champions and presenting them as giant mechas that are protecting the world. For Mecha Kingdoms, we wanted to tap back into the fantasies of this kind of Asian-inspired mythology, drawing a lot from history such as Three Kingdoms and Chinese history, but also incorporating this really cool futuristic sci-fi twist. So the story is that there are these three kingdoms and outer territories as well who fought to rule across the land. And suddenly, sort of these giant leviathans came up from the sea and they were invading humanity. Just with their sort of normal human armies, they weren't able to defeat these monsters. And so they were blessed by this technology that they're not exactly sure where it came from. And with this, they're able to construct really immense, huge towering mechs. And so with all the kingdoms united, there's these mechs going into battle against these monsters. The mecha skin line traditionally has been for more creature type characters. Mecha kingdoms are piloted robots, but they're not just robots like the Praetorian skins. So we want the pilot's personality to come through. We went through multiple rounds of iterations on, like, what's the technology behind this, right? Like, what's driving these things? Once we figured that out, then it locks in a direction for how we can build the mechs around them. Aside from that, the actual visual language that we're using, it's a blend between the organic, flowy shapes that we've established in our previous lines for Lunar Rebel, layered into not only the silhouette, but also the service detail and filigree that you see on the mechs themselves. Some of our biggest challenges were conveying that sense of weight and scale. Because in League of Legends, you might be coming into lane like a giant mecha, but then there's a Teemo there who's tiny. And so we're able to kind of tackle some of those challenges in the VFX or the animation. So a lot of it is marrying these elements that ground it in the real world, like dust and debris, and are kicked up by these huge mechs. <laughs> For Jax, we went into um, a lot more detail. So for his recall, we see him landing in a small little village, and so we get to see what that town looks like. And same with when he respawns, he's being carried in by these little floating armada ships that are like literally delivering the mech there. When he's running into battle, uh, he got the ships flying with him as well. So all these tiny little details. Selling the size was the hardest thing. We can't make something sound massive in League to the point where it pulls away from the gameplay, because gameplay trumps all, even in our designing. Since we don't have an established idea of what this sounds like, it was kind of like, let's figure it out. It was a lot of experimenting with different types of metal sounds, and a lot of different types of heavy impacts and metal movements and stuff like that. One of the things I wanted to introduce to the Mecha Kingdoms is kind of like a magic influence. So when you tell us ultimate, you get the sparks and the electricity and stuff, but you still feel like there's magic that's kind of influencing the ability. That's kind of like what's helping separate the Mecha Kingdoms from like the regular Mecha. Because this is such a anachronistic but unique sort of universe, we wanted to see how we could make the mechs feel that they are empowering and fit that mech fantasy while making them feel like they were built in this period that was heavily inspired by the East Asian mythology. We get to really invent that universe together. Artists are working with narrative, we're working with designers, and, and making sure this all feels like a cohesive package. I hope players feel like this is something different, and that they also feel a sense of scale and grandeur of these big makers, and that they see them that they're not just makers, but because of the way they look, the way they move, so there's something more.